Hi everyone, it's me, Steph. And me, David. And we are the leaders for Team Scent Squad Empire, and we are so happy that you were able to join us today or that you're watching the video replay because we love you regardless of how you get your whatever. Yeah. Training, learning, all the things. Some people can't be online, yeah. and that's why we record it. It's okay, it's all good. So today we wanted to talk about like 15-minute um, ways that you can work your business. We know both of us are super busy. I have two jobs. I'm a graphic designer, photographer, and ghostwriter. So I am super busy all the time, plus three kids. Um, yeah, and, more than more than two. Yeah, well, they're just those are the big ones, okay? <laughs> and then I run the Cincy business, and we have this amazing Cincy family of consultants that are in our group, and we love you all equally. Um, and then David is super busy too. He works um, a full time job in IT, and he also teaches for University of Phoenix. So he's really busy all the time. Plus, we want to have fun, and so we have to make time to play games and do things with our kids and each other. So we know just how tough it is sometimes to work your business or fit your business into your life. And that's what the great thing about Cincy is: is we want to help you fit your business in your life. So what we're going to talk about today is what you can do in fifteen minutes to work your business. So um, the first one I have is 15 minutes while you're out and about. What can you do while you're out and about that takes less than 15 minutes or up to 15 minutes to do? So like the first thing on our list, and I, I do have a cheat sheet, so I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm cheating, okay? But first thing is um, you're in about and about, you can take a few minutes to leave some catalogs at your doctor's office um, in a waiting room if you're, um, getting your eyes checked or one of the, uh, one of the things just, just on that same topic is like, um, uh, if you have catalogs and stuff in your bag, um, and you happen to go to the doctor's office or hair or whatever, and they yep. have all the books and stuff, um, you know, put, you know, put or your, your daycare, catalogs. if yeah. you have kids in daycare, leave your catalogs at the counter. And every time you get a new catalog, you remember to go back to those places and yes. give them a new catalog and then they're going to remember oh where's my catalog anyway number one um number if two. you <laughs> if you see a sign for a vendor event an opportunity to maybe uh be a, a vendor at an event pull over to the side of the road get the information and send the email or make the call right then yes stop and do it right then because if you tell yourself oh i'm gonna snap a picture of this and then i'll call when i get home a lot of things happen when you get home you know it's time to fix dinner you gotta kick, get the kids better you gotta do this, this 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 stop what you're doing make the call send the email whatever it needs to be if you're the next one is if waiting for the kids baseball practice car line uh make some make the calls yeah make, make your all your make your calls whenever yes. you uh are sitting there waiting for the kids or you know waiting in the yes line. yes work your business from your phone download marketing materials from any of the flyer groups um any of the uh workstation tab if you are uh using photofy since he has an agreement with Photofy, you can sign up to be able to get content right into your Photofy um, and work your business from your phone. Post to your social media, um, post pictures in your story. Chandra is doing an amazing job. If you guys aren't following her on Facebook and Instagram, start doing it because she is doing a great job with her story and sharing her journey. And I am in, like, I'm so proud of her and I am so she's making me need to up my game. Okay. So I need to up my game so I can catch up with her because she is doing a great job. Yeah. Um, on, the, on the work for work, your business from your phone. One of the ways that you can actually do that is just with a, a digital business card. Yeah. So, you know, you can just get it ready. And then whenever you need to send it to somebody, just yes. whoop, take create, seconds. create your business card for free in Canva. You just go to Canva, select a business card, fill in the information, slap your little picture on it. Bam, done, save it as a JPEG on your phone. And then you can send that out to other moms when you're at soccer practice, baseball practice, whatever it is. Um, when you're sitting in the bleachers, like let's say you have, um, you know, your kid has a double header, but you have like time when they're not playing, like they're warming up or whatever, and you're not needing to be physically involved. You know, put labels on catalogs, put labels on bars, you know, um, have a bleacher party with the other parents, bring your smellies with you and, you know, share that stuff out. Um, 
watch a listen to a training from the training center on your phone. You can have your earbuds in listening to training while you are doing other things um, or don't have it in, just have it up there and watch it. Uh, however, is works best for you. Yeah, and um, if you're sitting on the bleachers and you're doing any one of these things, the other families and stuff are gonna see yeah. you and go, what are you doing over there? Yeah. And that gives you the opportunity to- To talk uh, about to your talk business about in an in a organic way. Yeah. And so you're not seeing salesy or pushy or any of that. Just like, oh, I'm I'm getting you know, these ready for a party I have coming up, or I'm getting these ready for one of my consultants, or I'm getting these ready for a new somebody that's joining our team, and you know, different things like that. You can also make calls to schedule deliveries. Um, you can write thank you notes. All of those things are things you can spend 15 minutes doing really quickly while you're doing something else out and about to get uh, to work your business. So let's see what the next. I don't know if I can see. Oh yeah, there's Sarah. Okay, um, 15 minutes of office time, okay? So what can you do in, for office time in 15 minutes, okay? Um, restock your purse with catalogs or samples, right? Mm -hmm. Label um, catalogs. Label catalogs sent to the warmer of the month flyers, enter outside orders into your workstation. Or organize your order. Uh, orders and your, packing yeah, area, yeah. yep. Um, sort incoming orders. Uh, bag and tag orders. I actually save all my bagging and tagging and do it all at once. That way I, uh, it just works out better for me. Um, and I have a system that works really good. Uh, and then label, label any, product. anything you are going to sell or give to someone else should have a label of some sort with your name on it. Um, and then the last one is, you know, thank, thank you. Thank you for your customers. You know, you could do postcards, you could send emails, you could send text messages, you could send Facebook messages, whatever. Just spend like, give yourself, you know, these are the five tasks I want to do. And I'm going to get these done in my office for this 15 minutes. Okay. What's another 15 minutes? Uh, we kind of already talked about that. Oh, 15 minutes. Okay. Here's another 15 minute idea. Okay. Uh, search your workstations for customers who have previously ordered upcoming bring back my bars, discontinued, returning sense, LTOs, all of those things. LTO is limited time offer for those of you that don't know. So that would be like any of our Disney products that maybe are coming back. Or if you knew that they ordered Simba and they maybe would be interested in like uh, the Little Mermaid collection that's coming out. Or how about this? We had an aerial bar of wax you should pull everyone from the workstation that ordered the aerial bar of wax and let them know Sebastian's coming out. You see how that kind of works together. So you can use, log into your workstation, pull a report in less than five minutes and have a list of people to contact about the upcoming launch on Monday mm -hmm. for Sebastian, the crab and the aerial uh, or in the, the bar and whatever's coming up. Yeah, go to the next that. one. Um, so the, how do you do the, the, report log in your workstation you go to the order uh, history tab uh, insert the sent name and select search this this will that'll pull up a list of orders and you can click to get the names and contacts info from your pws orders party orders uh you will have to open the find the individual who ordered this that sent um, and then make a list that includes the names phone numbers the sent and and call um during that 15 minutes Awesome. So you can make a list within like, maybe you don't have time. In that yeah, one maybe you just, minutes. yeah, maybe, maybe you take you make that 15 list. minutes to download the list, to get the list. And then when you're in the car line the next day, you use that call, you use that list. Um, great way to work your business in 15 minutes. Uh, samples. You don't have to do it all at once. You don't have to sit down and do all your samples at one time. You don't need to get your entire family together, sit at the kitchen table to make uh, samples. You can <laughs> if they're down for it. And, and if you cry, usually they help you faster. Um, so I'm just saying, not that I know from experience. Um, you don't have to do it all at once unless you have the time to. You can break it down into small pieces. So you can gather the supplies, products, bags, you know, labels, all the things, right? Um, then the next day you can print the labels and cut the paper, whatever you need to do to get them all prepared. You know, then you actually make the sample, samples, you know, take 15 minutes and make all the samples. Um, I really like using the crinkle cutter to do samples super fast. I can make a hundred samples in like no time with a crinkle cutter. 
and they're not like pretty like no melting they're melting it and pouring yeah. little things but the what what we found doing that same thing is you know it's like way faster to just go cut 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 right right and, and you, you know at the end of the day it. it's the gonna customer, melt in the little thing anyway the, the little ziplock bag yeah and the customers most of the time are they don't really care what it's i mean yes when i was doing super cutesy ones people were like oh that's cute but at the end of the day they really just want to smell the wax so however you if you want to be cutesy i am not judging you you'll be cutesy if you want to just get it done get it done okay so you know break it up in times and you know we, maybe make all your samples one day and then the next day you make all you label them all and we know, we know several ways of making the samples pretty doing it faster rather than trying to melt it and pour it and if and we can give examples later but yeah anyway the yeah. cut is faster yes yes so basically the thing is is break your sampling up into 15 minute increments that way you're not feeling like you spend an entire day making samples you know you can do 15 minutes here or you know you can label bags You can label bags or something like that while you're in the car line for the samples you're going to make over the weekend or while you're sitting at the baseball game or whatever, because you can be putting labels on little Ziploc bags while you're doing other things. That's that's the, the gist of it. Um, that's the previous one. No, this is not. Uh, use your workstation to look for customers oh. that maybe have ordered products like our laundry. You know, maybe they ordered just the dryer disc or maybe they ordered just the uh, uh, laundry liquid, you know, look up them, go into the history tab, uh, search for different things, you know, um, yeah, and see what they ordered, you know, another, another one of those little searches that you can do to get that 15 minutes. And this is very similar to the ones I, I just talked about just a few minutes yeah, ago. It's the same process for searching. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And we can do a step-by-step -step video for that for you guys, and we'll post it um, this week. Okay. Um, the biggest thing here is to be intentional with the 15 minutes you have. So your time is valuable to you and it's valuable to your family. And you need to remember that it has a value. It has a dollar value assigned to every minute you spend on your Cincy business because it's taking the emotional charge from your family because it takes time away from your family. It takes time away from things that you maybe enjoy doing more. Um, I don't know who would join anything more than Cincy, but you know, maybe there's somebody out there, but it takes time away from the other things that you want to do. Maybe like going to Disney world. I mean, I'd like to go to Disney world instead of make samples. I'm just saying I am not a sample making lover. Um, so, you know, put it in your calendar. You know, if you're going to plan to spend 15 minutes mm -hmm. twice a week, put it on your calendar, put it on a day, set up a reminder so that it, so that you know, when that happens, you are going to do your 15 minute, whatever, um, you know, things you can do during that 15 minutes. Here's some more. You can, um, telephone time, party time, prep for the party, uh, by, uh, you know, hostess act, not by, uh, host activities, you know, think about what kind of things you're going to have doing when you're host, um, when you're hosting parties, um, things you're going to ask your hostess to do, uh, you know, things you're going to do to get people to join your team, because ultimately you want to grow your own team, maybe, and you want to have a bigger paycheck, probably. And growing your team is one of the easiest ways to get that paycheck to grow. Yeah. And so the whole point of that whole thing is be intentional about what you're doing. So most people, if they plan what they're going to do throughout the week, then more than likely that they'll actually um, take take charge of those particular exactly, tasks. Exactly. Exactly. Rather than just saying you're going to do something and, and not actually. Exactly. So it. so like remember that list we were talking about earlier, the list of customers from like you're bringing back my bar, or you're just continuing your LTOs. Mm -hmm. You're going to make that 15 minutes, and one of those 15 minutes is going to be a time to call them, and you just have to call them and be like, "Hey, it's me." your Cincy hookup. And, you know, I just was calling because um, I have the best news. Sebastian's coming out on Monday on a pre-order and I would love to hook you up so that when he comes in, there is no question on whether or not you get one for little um, Sally. Cause I know she loves the little mermaid and she is going to love Sebastian cause he is adorable, you know, whatever, or, you know, whatever the situation is, you know, make it personable, talk to them. Um, you don't have to start out right with that. You can start out with, Hey, how's it been going? I haven't talked to you in a while, you know, and, and just gradually work it into the conversation. 
Um, or, you know, just shoot the message. Be like, hey, I was going through my uh, list and I found that you ordered this and you liked this scent. And guess what? We have this coming out. Um, your customers are not going to be mad for you telling them what's coming to them. Okay. Uh, 15 minutes, get parties. You can spend 15 minutes to get parties. We did this at a convention one time where they took, it wasn't even 15 minutes. We took 10 minutes and we pulled our phone out. And we started messaging people and to see who could get the most parties booked. And guys, I'm telling you, when you message one-on-one -on -one and you talk to people individually, that's when you start seeing the magic happening with booking. You've got to be individually, you've got to work individually with people. You've got to talk to them one-on-one. -on -one. That is what the magic happens. Um, you know, you can also post about parties on social media that can get people excited about booking, you know, um, <coughs> got all choked up, you know, um, you know, listen to what your customers are saying too. Um, you know, did you hear somebody talking about like my sister just moved into a new house? Guess what she's getting? She's opening a housewarming party. You know, those are different things. Like people are always looking like, what do you get someone? Well, have a host housewarming party, you know, give her instead of giving her something you don't know if she likes or it'll go with her decor. You buy something for yourself and basically you're giving her a gift because she's getting hostess rewards, right? So these are great ways that you can help people out. Um, you can also mail of uh, samples, uh, sit in warm of the month samples. Use the stickers if you don't want to make uh, actual wax samples. The stickers are great. I've done it for years. Um, you know, and then back again to the training center. Use the training center. Use the training center. It is an amazing tool for you. Uh, phone time. Social media, phone. I think we've been over all that. Yeah. Uh, the, the biggest thing here is to be intentional with your time and you will see results. Okay. So if you aren't already scheduling some office time for you, make yourself a commitment to schedule 15 minutes of office time two to three days a week to begin with. Okay, if you can't do two to three days a week, commit to one day where you're going to spend at least 15 minutes just working your business. And maybe it's every Friday, maybe it's every Thursday, whatever. But you're going to spend 15 minutes focusing on working your business and bettering you. And that could be doing on a training call, watching a YouTube video, um, listening to um, somebody talk while you're driving in the car. If you have a long commute to work, that is a perfect opportunity um, to do additional training. Uh, I listen to the training stuff all yes, the time. Yes, yeah, that David's been doing that for years. I got a little over an hour drive every every morning to work and back, so I listen to different training videos. And yes. Stuff. Yes. So ultimately what we want to say is make yourself, make a commitment to yourself that you're going to commit to 15 and you are going to make it happen in your business. So that is all we have for our recording today. And we love you guys and we will see you in the groups and on YouTube and all the places. And we can't wait to see you guys in person. So bye y'all. Bye.